it's October and I'm in a cemetery. So it must be the Halloween special. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out 13 on 13, your monthly Friday 13th news update for October of 2018. Guys, we are less than a week away from the release of the new Halloween film. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's the Friday 13th network, but I think it's safe to say we are all very excited to see our good friend Mikey back on the big screen slashing and doing his thing. Now Michael has been pretty busy as the Halloween fan film the Spirit of Haddonfield was just released a few weeks ago. And you guys may have noticed a few Friday the 13th names in those credits. Like Ghost Jason himself and Never Hike Alone director Vincent Dasani playing The Shape. And of course our good friend Nathan Barker from Return to Camp Blood podcast and Death Curse Radio. They're helping out as well. Guys, make sure that you check out The Spirit of Haddonfield Halloween fan film. It's great. We'll put the link below. But enough of Halloween talk. Let's get on with Jason. We got a great update for you guys this month. So huge Friday the 13th news coming our way earlier this month as the lawsuit has been settled. S sort of for now. And I think to everybody's surprise, it went to Victor Miller, which is kind of crazy because, you know, a few months ago there was the whole hashtag fuck Victor Miller and I think he received death threats and he had to close his Twitter down. It got really nasty. A lot of people blamed him for the death of the video game. Victor only got the rights to the original Friday the 13th here in the United States. He doesn't have any of the overseas rights and he has no rights to actual hockey mask adjacent. So it's, it's really interesting. Now everyone's favorite camper Shelly, Larry Zerner, who is a copyright lawyer, made a recent statement to help clear all of this up. So what happens next? Horror Inc. could appeal, but that will be at least two and more likely three to four years of waiting for a resolution. As for the game, it is and shall always be a great game, but even if Victor and Sean work things out, the guys at Gun Media will not be adding new content. But hopefully, Victor and Sean will work something out and get moving on a new Friday the 13th movie ASAP. But Horror Inc. has also made a recent statement saying they have Jason projects already in the works. They're, they're waiting to release some Jason. I know everyone's number one question is the Friday the 13th video game and when are we getting new content? Larry Zerner doesn't think it's going to happen. Right now, we don't know. In video game news for you guys this month, anyone rocking a PS4 and has PlayStation Plus, you get the Friday 13th video game for free. It is now available free this month to download, so make sure that you do it right now if you haven't already, and that's, that's fucking awesome. Awesome! So a nice little push for the video game as it's possibly nearing the end of its life. Dedicated servers last month, it's free. Make sure that you're getting out there, you're playing it. I've heard nothing but great things about the dedicated servers. And speaking of the servers, we say goodbye to Ilphonic. Ilphonic has, of course, been with the Friday 13th video game and gun media since the beginning. They are now stepping aside to work on other projects. And our servers are going to be handed over to Dark Tower Studios. They're actually based somewhere in Japan, which I thought was crazy, but I guess it's kind of a normal thing with video games and servers. And sticking with video game news, any fans of Nintendo, anybody that has a Nintendo Switch, Friday the 13th Killer Puzzle Game is coming your way, October 25th. I think that news right there is awesome. Awesome! It's up for pre-order right now, and it's already available on Android, iOS, or Steam devices, but it's really cool that it's coming back to a Nintendo system for the first time in like over 20 years since the purple NES Jason. Really cool that it's coming back to a home console. So Friday 13th, the killer puzzle game, October 25th, guys. Be on the lookout for that. And some convention news for next month to keep you in the Halloween spirit. Days of the Dead is hitting Chicago, November 16th, 17th, and 18th. 
Now, they're just kind of getting underway with their guest announcements, but they have recently announced Kane Hodder, Jason from 7, 8, 9, and 10, and Warrington Gillette, Friday 13th Part 2's Jason, the unmasked Jason, popping through the window at the end, grabbing Amy Steele. So two Jasons will be in Chicago next month, but you can head a little bit down south from Chicago to the University of Illinois, Champaign-Urbana at the Dark History Horror Con, where they just announced our good friend Ari Lehman, first Jason. He will be there and his band will be there rocking out the University of Illinois. So pretty cool that the uh, state of Illinois getting some love for the conventions next month, Chicago and the U of I. Tickets are on sale now and we'll put the link below in the description for anyone that's interested. Let us know if you're gonna be there, guys. The woods are full of hidden dangers. Get it! Get it! So we're gonna need you to follow our lead, stay close together, and you'll make out fine. And if the trailer isn't enough to get you guys excited, how about these recent announcements? CJ Graham, who played Jason Voorhees in Friday 13th Part 6, Jason Lives, has been cast to play Elias, Jason's father. And director of Jason Lives, Tom McLaughlin, has also been brought on to help with the script and assist directing the film. So, I mean, right there, it's Jason Lives. This film is supposed to take place 30 years after Part 6, Jason Lives. And we have two Jason Lives crew and cast members aboard. It's going to be great, guys. But one of the announcements that I'm really excited for is Steve Dash, Sackhead Jason from Friday 13th Part 2, one of my favorite in the series, has also been cast in the film. We have three Friday 13th alumni now on board with this upcoming fan film. This fan film is doing what the studio hasn't done, couldn't do, wouldn't do. Vengeance is doing, guys. You big dildo, eat your fucking slop. It's now time for our monthly sticker giveaway, Ethel's Stew. And I'm currently going through a move right now, so all of my stuff is packed up, which is kind of why I was recording in a cemetery anyways. So a little bit different this month for the stew, but no worries, we're still picking out winners. Last month we asked you guys your favorite, Friday the 13th soundtrack, and it must have been a good question because a huge response from you guys, lots of Jason lives Friday the 13th part 6, and Friday the 13th part 8, Jason takes Manhattan but also a lot of love for the disco theme in part 3 and of course a man with no life in his eyes from Friday 13th part 5 a new beginning thanks for your comments guys let's go ahead and pick this month's winners all right congratulations to this month's winners if you see your names go ahead and hit us up facebook instagram twitter here on youtube any way possible get us your addresses and we will get your friday 13th network coloring book stickers sent out to you right away so this month we have a pretty simple question for you we want to know your favorite halloween sequel that's right sequel not the original halloween the classic we know that one's good but with the release of the new film next week which sequel is your guys's favorite maybe like hanging out in the hospital in halloween 2 or the whole Curse of Thorn thing going on in Part 6. Or maybe you're just a Busta Rhymes fan and Resurrection. Let us know your favorite Halloween sequel. And we'll enter you guys in Ethel's Stew next month. Knew you couldn't pass up on my stew. And that's your Friday 13th news update for October of 2018. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys back here next month. Back to normal next month. Everyone have a safe and awesome Halloween. Awesome! mouse pig cow thing and this is like a tree it's really cool
It's like you can never ever record here because there's a, a, a highway right there, middle of nowhere. Who to thunk it? There's literally a highway going right through there, so it's really difficult to record, but it's a beautiful cemetery. <laughs> 